Welcome to a new tutorial in which we're gonna go through the steps for adding the featured image element to a Drive Team Builder template and then using the left sidebar options to further customize it. Now with this element you can quickly and easily display the featured images of your posts and pages on your templates. You can find it here in the right sidebar list of elements and you can use it just like you would use any other Drive Architect element. You simply have to drag and drop it onto your canvas from the right sidebar. If you have previously set a featured image for the page or post on which you're working, then the image will be displayed here once you drop the element to your template. If, on the other hand, you have not set a featured image, then this would be a default blank image, like this one from here. Now, to start from the beginning, the featured image is something that you can set while editing the page or post that you're working on. So here I am in the post section of my WordPress admin dashboard and I'm going to go into the edit mode from here. So I'm going to be editing this blog post. And then here in the right sidebar, you can see that I have this featured image section. You can expand it if needed be. And you can simply set the featured image from here. This will open the media library where you can select the image that you would like to use and then update or save your post. That's pretty much it. You've managed to set a featured image to this post. Now, what you also need to make sure is that you are using a featured image element in order to actually display it because at the moment it's just set for this particular post. So this is the second step in the process after setting the image from here. So let's head over to Thrive Team Builder and let's see how to use this element on my default blog post template. I'm going to access the template section and edit this template. So this template that I've chosen has by default a featured image element added to it. And here I can preview this template on various posts to see how it would look like with the content that I already have to that blog post. And this is how the template would look like on a post on which I have not set a featured image. So I have the element itself on the template, but for this particular blog post, I haven't set a featured image, just like I've shown you at the beginning of this video. Now let's see what happens if I preview this template on the post on which I've just set the featured image. It will show right up. So I had the element added to my template, but I've also went through the process of setting the featured image for this particular post. Another situation you might stumble across is if you'd apply a template to a post on which you've set the featured image, but maybe the template itself does not have the featured image element added to it. So in this case, there's nothing to be displayed because the element is not there. So if I'm going to go ahead and remove this element, even though this post has a featured image set, it will not show up because the element is not on the template. But just as easily, you can also add it back to your template if you remove it by mistake, and then it will appear right here. Okay, so now let's go through the options available for this element. So first of all, as you can see, the post URL button is selected by default, but you can select the none option as well if you don't want the image to be clickable and linked to some other page. Next, you have the featured image title. So you can select between these two options. With this one, you can display the post title or the actual name of the image as it is set in the media library. The following option basically lets you decide what should be displayed within your element if a featured image is not set for that particular content that you're editing. So here as well, you can click on nothing or on the default image, which of course will display a blank image, just as you've previously seen in this video. Next come the sizing options. So open this drop down to see the full list of image sizes that you can use and select the one that best works with your template. And here from this slider, of course, you can adjust the size of the element itself simply by dragging the slider from left to right. Now, the general options are also available for this element, and we do have separate tutorials for each one of them in our knowledge base. Last but not least, it's worth mentioning that the featured image element is a dynamic one, which means that the image displayed in the element will change depending on what post or page you apply the template to. So here at the moment, I'm previewing this content on this blog post, but of course, if I'm going to be working on a different one on which I have a different featured image, then the featured image set for that blog post will appear here. So you can preview this dynamic behavior anytime simply by opening this dropdown and selecting the post on which you want to preview this template. And that's pretty much it. This is how you can set the featured image for your post and for a page as well, and also use the element from the right sidebar to display it within your template. 
As always, if you want to get more familiar with Drive Team Builder, don't forget to check out our knowledge base where we have many more tutorials of this type.